So now we're on to our second dish, the Vietnamese spring rolls. These are called Jia Yo. Jia Yo, or the Vietnamese spring rolls, they normally come with a meat filling such as prawns, crab, or pork. But today we're making them vegetarian style. The reason why we're making them today is because it's a common dish that you see during the Lunar New Year in Vietnam. You're going to need 100 grams of mung beans. You're going to take a glass of water and soak the mung beans for 20 minutes. So after you have soaked the mung beans in water, you need to drain them and wash them. This is the finished product after you have drained and rinsed it properly. So here we have 100 grams of taro. Now you want to take your 100 grams of mung beans and 100 grams of taro and steam them together in your steamer. You're going to take your taro and add it to the steamer. Don't forget to add water at the bottom of the steamer. Here we can see we're adding the mung beans with the taro together. You're going to want to steam this for 25 minutes. So after 25 minutes, this is what the mung beans look like. To know if they are thoroughly cooked, you can easily press them against your fingertips. After 25 minutes, your taro should be nice and soft like this. As you can see here, the taro is thoroughly cooked because you can easily slice them. When slicing them, they should eventually be roughly 2 to 3 centimeters. Now we have 10 grams of dried white black fungus. You're going to want to soak these and rehydrate them in warm water for 20 minutes. You also want to have 20 grams of shiitake mushrooms. These you also want to rehydrate for 20 minutes. You're going to need 100 grams of Roman chili. You also want to rehydrate these for 20 minutes. You're going to need half a German turnip. You're going to want to peel and cut these turn this turnip. As you can see here, you're going to need to cut your turnip into small pieces. One thing to remember, if you don't have any of these ingredients, you can use any other vegetable you like for the filling. In Vietnamese, we call the German turnip su hao. You're going to need one piece of carrot. Remember to peel the carrot and then finely grate them. Grate until three, three quarters of the carrot has gone. You want your carrot to be as dry as possible. Now, you're going to want to take a couple of slices of spring onions and you're going to want to thinly slice them into small pieces. Here, you can see our shiitake mushrooms. We have drained them already. So this is the, what the finished product looks like. Here we have your black and white fungus. This is what it looks like after it's been drained. You're going to take your mushrooms and thinly chop them or dice them. Any mushrooms from your, from your local supermarket will do. Remember, in order for this to fit in your spring rolls, it has to be thoroughly chopped and diced into small pieces. Here we have some vermin chili. This is what it looks like after it's been rehydrated. This you also need to th thinly slice. And there you have it. Everything you need for your filling. Here we have one packet of tofu. Another name for tofu is bean curd. Now we're going to make some seasoning for the filling. You're going to need half a teaspoon of pepper, three quarters teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of vegetarian, vegetarian seasoning and finally half a teaspoon of mushroom powder after you've added it you're going to thoroughly mix it all together okay you're going to take some oil and add it to your pan the heat is going to be medium to high firstly you're going to take your spring onions and add them into the pan mix around for a couple of seconds and afterwards, you're going to add your German tulip and add it to the pan. You're going to want to add your tulip in first. Due to its texture, it's going to take a long, longer time to cook compared to all the other ingredients. After a couple of minutes of mixing and stirring, you're going to add in your shiitake mushrooms and your black fungus. 
Again, after a couple of minutes of stirring, you're going to add in your mung beans. And then you're going to add in your taro. Afterwards, it's the vermin chili. And then you're going to take your tofu or your bean curd, mash it up together quickly like that, and add it all in. Now, you're going to really want to thoroughly mix it and get in there. Make sure everything's thoroughly mixed. Keep on stirring, keep on mixing. After about a couple of minutes of stirring, you're going to add in your seasoning and then thoroughly mix again. This process altogether should take about 10 minutes. If you are unsure if everything's evenly cooked, remember to try some. Okay, now for the rolling process. You're going to need a packet of rice paper. This can be bought at any Vietnamese supermarket. You're going to take your rice paper and you're going to dip it in a saucer of water to make it soft. Okay, now you're going to take one big spoon of your filling and add it to your rice paper. You're going to take the edge of your rice paper and neatly fold it, making sure you tuck in the sides too. After you've tucked in the sides, you're going to carry on rolling it. And voila! There you have it. You're going to keep doing this until you've run out of either rice paper or filling. Here we have the final one. As you can see, we've made a couple of dozens here. We're now going to fry these. You're going to want to add in a, a lot of oil because you want your roll to be submerged in the oil so it can fry evenly. As you can see, bubbles of oil are forming, which means it's cooking. Once they have turned evenly golden brown like that and crispy, you're going to take them and then let it drain on some tissue paper. And there you have it. This is the finished product. Your lovely Vietnamese spring rolls. They can be accompanied with a um, piece of lettuce here. What you do, you take your piece of lettuce, you take the spring roll, you wrap it around together, and you take one bite. Ooh. I'm not sure if you heard, but there was a lovely crunch to it there. Nice. Well, there you have it. We'd like to say thank you for watching us today. And once again, Happy New Year. All the best for the Year of the Ox. Happy New Year. All the best. Bye-bye.